Now, earthquake survivors in Pakistan are still waiting for help two weeks after a strong tremor destroyed their homes. The Red Cross has appealed for $8 million in emergency funding, but many people are still living in flimsy tents, allowing little protection from the harsh weather. Our correspondent Kamal Haider reports from Balochistan. Two weeks since the strong earthquake in Balochistan, people are still rummaging through the rubble to look for lost belongings. Thousands of families now brave the bitter cold winter winds in makeshift camps. At warm Kotal, situated at the mouth of the Ziarat Valley, the destruction is almost total. Not even a wall is left standing, and recovery work is slow as aftershocks jolt the area. Abdul Sattar tells me his family was fortunate to live through the earthquake. Now the family kitchen is outdoors, and the ladies of the house make bread against the backdrop of a mountain range. That's an active fault line. His young sons demolished the remnant of the thick mud walls. The earthquake killed over 300 people and left thousands of families homeless. People have shown their sympathy. However, we need containers to help us against the cold winds and assist us to rebuild our home. Not far away, a shepherd told us he'd lost many of his goats after the shed that housed them collapsed. My animals under open skies, subject to rain and snow, there is no shelter for them. Only Allah can help me now. As we close in on warm, the road is blocked with protesters who claim their supplies were stolen and sold at market. We see the things which come from the governments, different governments, international community, NGOs, and our own government. But those things are transferred again from here. Only few trucks. They um, distribute. Other important thing is that people from far off areas come here. They take things from here and sell that, which is very bad for us. Yes, people will think that them. like the affected people are selling things. So we are not selling. They, these are the other people who come here. The epicenter of the powerful quake that destroyed many villages in Balochistan happened here in Wam. Not a single house is left standing here. The entire village population is now living in tents which are not winterized, most of them are spending sleepless nights. They're already complaining that in spite of assistance from the international community, the distribution system is not perfect. And that means that people who deserve help may not get it. With faces covered in dust, the men separate the mud from the wood. And little Shamsullah remains oblivious of the fact that his kid sister didn't make it. People here tell us the children cannot sleep because of the bitter cold and you can hear them cry because their simple and cheap tents are not warm enough and there's a long winter ahead. Kamal Haider, Al Jazeera, Ziarat Baluchistan.